Hello everybody. So today we are going to uh, learn about what is Internet Communication Manager and what is the use of this ICM in SAP environment. So basically the purpose of Internet communication manager it is a communication between the SAP system and the outside world via the protocol HTTP, HTTPS and SMTP. So you need the ICM if you want your SAP web application server to communicate with the internet via HTTP, HTTPS or SMTP. Okay. So if you see here, if you go to your SAP MMC, that is management console, this is where you can see ICM, right? These are the status of the Internet Communication Manager. So as I said, like ICM is a component of the web, SAP web application server. It is implemented as a separate process which is started and monitored by the dispatcher. Okay, so in profile parameters you can set whether the ICM is to be started and how to configure those things. Okay, now uh, basically the thread you are seeing is nothing but uh, it accepts the incoming TCP IP request and um, creates a worker thread from the thread pool to process the request. Then the thread control initializes the connection information data. So this is a layout of Internet Communication Manager, how it interacts with a web browser, a web dispatcher and a Java dispatcher. So here if you see the web requests are received by the Internet Communication Manager, this HTTPS Request can be processed either in the ABAP work process, for example, ABAP Web Dan Pro applications are forwarded to the AS Java in the AS ABAP and Java system. Okay, so the ICM can use the URL to decide to very forward the request. If it cannot reply to the request from its cache, uh, if the request is to the Java uh, environment. It is sent to the Java dispatcher, which you can see through 2B, which then forward to a Java server process, which you can see as 3B. So then the Java server process then refers to the Java schema. It's applicable and uses the Java dispatcher process to send the response back to the ICM. Finally, the ICM sends the response from the SAP system to the user who sent the request through so how it communicates from Java and back to the user who sent the request. If the request is to the ABAP runtime environment, the ICM forwards it to the ABAP dispatcher 2A, which then handles it like a typical SAP GUI request. And then it sends back to the ICM and then it will send it to the ICM will send it back to the user request, to the web browser. So this is how the ICM uh, communicates outside the world using the protocol HTTP, HTTPS and SMTP protocol. Thank you so much for attending this session. Bye.